there, dragons. It is time for your mini lesson. This packet you should already own. It's first among equals. We've worked a lot in this before we left. We have subs using substitution to understand equality. We did a lot of substituting. Then solutions from a set. We tested if it was true. Always true, never true, sometimes true. Using property, properties of equality. We are going to make a foldable later on that. Identifying solutions. This is more um, the card sort. You did this in your interactive notebook, and we're going to do a foldable on the properties later. So now we're here. Inequalities. This is where we left off. Honors got to see it. So honors, this is just a review, but for regular, this is brand new. Please follow along with notes. I'm going to use some highlighters and some colored pens. Now this is only a preview into the full lesson. I'm going to give you some preliminary notes. And then when we zoom tomorrow at 12, we'll go over the rest of the problems together. Okay. I'm trying to get in there so you can really see it. Here we go. Okay, inequalities. First, let's review the symbols. Inequality symbols. Most people have a hard time memorizing which is which. That's totally normal. And, you know, when we're little, we learn them like little crocodiles that eat the bigger numbers. That's not very helpful when we get older. We've got the greater than, the less than, the greater than or equal to, the less than or equal to, and then our friend, not equal to at all, which is becoming more common in the expressions and equations unit. All right, let's get the words next to them. That's your greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and then not equal to. I'm going to pause here, so if you need to pause the video to copy the notes, you can go ahead. Okay, moving on. You can use a number line to represent inequalities. The graph of an inequality in one variable is a set of all points on a number line that make the inequality true. The set of all points that make an inequality true is the solution set of the inequality. So we've got the graph of an inequality. And then when we graph it, that's the solution set of the inequality, the solution set. Consider the graphs of the inequalities x is greater than zero, 3 and x is greater than or equal to 3. Let's look at these closely. Here we've got x is greater than 3. That is this graph here. Let's look at some important attributes of this graph. The solution set is everything that is bigger than 3. But it does not include the number 3. It has to be bigger. It can only be, it only has to be a little bit bigger. Like 3 decimal 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's still bigger than 3. When it cannot include the 3, you give it an open circle. And then the rest of the solution set is this darkened line. All of this. For on and on forever. That ray goes on forever. And it contains the solution set of the inequality.
Now we have the other example, where x is greater than or equal to 3. So you have more options here. This time, to represent that 3 is okay, that it is part of the solution set, you close the circle. Three is included in the solution set. I hope you're getting those notes down. I want to finish off number one for sure so that you have some solid notes before we do the lesson later. Describe each number line representation. Well, I notice right, right from the start that one contains an open circle and one contains a closed circle. They both contain the rays that go on forever. That's a darkened line there. But the circling, the circles play a huge role. So the graph of x greater than 3 is represented with an open circle on 3 and all the points greater than 3. The graph of x is greater than 3 is represented with an open circle. And all the points greater than 3. Everybody who's greater than 3 is represented on that ray. And just so you don't forget, I'm going to put ray in parentheses here. On the other hand, the graph of x is greater than or equal to 3 is represented with a closed circle on 3, and all the points greater than 3 are then represented on the ray. Part B, describe the solution set for each inequality. Solution set being an important vocabulary term. So x greater than 3. The solution set for x greater than 3 is all numbers greater than 3, but not including 3. In contrast, when x is greater than or equal to 3, the solution set for x is greater than or equal to 3 is all the numbers greater than and or equal to 3. It includes 3 this time.
How does the solution set of the inequality x is greater than or equal to 3 differ from the solution set of x is greater than 3? I'm going to give you a prompt here. The solution set of the inequality x is greater than or equal to 3. And then you describe what the solution set includes or does not include. Then the solution set of x is greater than 3. And then you can describe what it includes or does not include. So brainstorm that for a second. The solution set of the inequality x is greater than or equal to 3 includes the number 3. The solution set of x is greater than 3 does not include the number 3. We have excellent notes for the beginning part. We have enough time to look at number two. Consider the graphs of the inequalities. X is less than three, and X is less than or equal to three. Take a moment and in your own words, describe each number line representation. Describe the solution set for each. And how does the solution set of the inequality x less than or equal to 3 differ from the solution set of x is less than 3? Feel free to pause. This one is extremely similar to number 1, the one we just completed together. Take a moment to start to fill that in. The graph of x less than 3 is represented with an open circle on 3 in all the points less than 3. So notice here, open circle. In contrast, closed circle. When the circle is open, the solution cannot be 3. When the circle is closed, the solution set does include 3. The graph of x is less than or equal to 3 is represented with a closed circle.
and all the points less than three. Describe the solution set for each. The solution set for x less than 3 is all the numbers less than 3, but not including 3. Whereas the solution set for x is less than or equal to 3 is all the numbers less than or equal to 3. Does include, does include, yes. underline some important terms there. So when it was the less than symbol, it did not include the three. When it was the less than or equal to symbol, it does include three. How does the solution set of the inequality x less than or equal to three differ from the solution set of x is less than three? All right, I got two sentence prompts there for you. The solution set of the inequality x is less than or equal to 3 includes the number 3. The solution set of x is less than 3 does not include the number 3. The solution to any inequality can be represented on a number line by a ray. A ray begins at a starting point and goes on forever in one direction, such as that or that. A closed circle means the starting point is part of the solution set of the inequality. An open circle means the starting point is not part of the solution set of the inequality. There is everything in that paragraph is important. Everything there is true. And this is the perfect spot for us to pause on our notes and then on the lesson, on the Zoom meeting, we'll go over the rest of 1.5 together so that it will include all the practice problems together. So that's what we'll do in the next Zoom meeting. We've got this page, you should have taken your notes, and this page, you should have taken your notes. Excellent work, Dragons. Thank you so much for joining me for this mini lesson about inequalities.